So I had a kind of a crazy weekend. It started off by being attacked by pirates. Then I went off to try and film this statue, but it uh, didn't really turn out so great as it didn't want to be filmed for some reason. But uh, what I wanted to talk about today is why silicon ice cube trays are terrible. And I know this is a really silly, stupid video that doesn't interest that many people, but uh, here we go. Silicon ice cube trays. So you get this. I think I got it in a pack of two for like eight bucks or something. And compared to a normal ice cube tray, um, that's what you get. So the first thing that kind of stinks about these things is that it takes forever to punch out the ice. So this is in real time. I think it takes me about 20 seconds uh, of trying to remove the ice in order to empty the tray. Um, I thought it would be a good idea as they are flexible, but the thing is is that it's very st kind of sticky too, so it makes it very difficult to punch out the ice compared to a normal plastic tray. Um, so if we look at the plastic tray next, we can see that I can do it in just one motion. So here we go. Look, all of that ice done. But the big problem with them, and I don't know why, uh, the ice cube tray leaves little bits of uh, flecks of stuff in the water. So this doesn't happen with a normal ice cube tray, it only happens with a silicon for some reason. And it doesn't matter how many times I washed it, uh, I always get little floating specks on the top of my water, so it's kind of gross, so I stopped using them. So if you enjoyed what you saw here, I guess like the video and subscribe, and I hope you had a nice day and thanks for watching.